Hey y'all, it's Marin on Wake Up Workouts. So I just finished filming a yoga flow for flexibility uh, for somebody and I figured I would share that with you. And if we felt like doing a little brief workout, we would do that together as well. Uh, I've been feeling really lazy this week and I think I was on fire last week because I was working out twice a day. I had a lot of uh, fitness videos to film and I got on this new diet and I was trying to make sure I slept really well to have enough energy for the whole week but I have a tendency to not sleep as much as I should and so this week I want to kick it in the butt and start working out a lot more because it obviously gives me a lot of energy but let's start with this yoga flow for uh, increasing leg flexibility all we're gonna do is stand here take a couple deep breaths exhale out inhale again exhale out one more time we're gonna spread our legs get in a warrior two position right here good we're just gonna hold this just get our legs pumping a little bit I like taking a, at least three breaths in each pose just for starts. And then when we're done, we're just going to go into low lunge position. If you need to, place your foot on the ground. That's fine. Um, it, it helps take the strain off of that hip, hip front of the hip if you're not, if you're not uber flexible. Um, and then if you want to stay up here, that's fine. You can stay up here. You can stretch up towards the sky or you can bring your hands down to namaste and rotate towards the leg, towards the back. When we're done here, we're going to put our hands on the ground, get in plank position, push up towards downward dog, get those heels down into the ground, lift your hips up towards the sky and push away from your hands. When we're done with that, we're just going to step up to the front here and stand up, keeping your back nice and straight. Bend at the waist towards that front leg, intensive stretch. Try not to arch your back here. We really want to make sure that the leg is, um, we're concentrating the stretch into the leg. It doesn't matter how far you can go. If you're right here, that's fine, just as long as you're feeling that stretch in your leg. Uh, don't put your weight on the knee, either below or above the knee is fine. Um, and if you want to, if you're all the way on the ground and you want to increase the intensity of the stretch, lift your foot up as you do so. Otherwise, we're just going to stay right here. And then we're going to step together and come down to a forward bend. Same thing, flat back, bend at the waist, put a little bit of uh, Bend in your knees so that you're not overextending them. And then I like to focus on standing up straight with a straight posture as I'm kind of bent at the waist here. If you hate this stretch, you're like me and that is a good thing. It means we need it. <laughs> so just focus on relaxing all those muscles, especially right here in your back. Big breaths, and we'll sit into it a little more. I like to rock kind of side to side a little bit. Good, let's reach up, inhale, exhale. Two more times, inhale. One more. Okay, we're gonna get down into warrior two. Other leg forward this time. I started with my right, so this is my left leg now. Standing on a leaf. <laughs> Don't stand on a leaf. It'll make it slippery. <laughs> I'm still standing on it. Okay. So right here into warrior two, opposite side. Make sure you breathe into the belly, out through the mouth. Nice and strong. 
Okay, rotate down in uh, for lower lunge position. I cannot talk today. <laughs> lower lunge position. Again, if you need to, put your foot on the ground. You're fine. What, what I'm focusing on is getting my hip down into the ground. I see a centipede for the first time here. Ooh. I have a thing for centipedes. It's not very big. This one's small, but centipedes are like, the big ones creep me out. <laughs> I'm just afraid to get bitten. So, okay, reach up towards the sky if you can. Rotate if you'd like. Ooh, this side is not stable for me. And then hands on the ground. Ah, oh, downward dog. I always focus on pushing away from the ground and pushing my heels down into the ground. Feel free to rock back and forth if you need to. Okay, put that foot up again. Intensive stretch right here. If you feel like you want to, you can put your hands behind your back. If you can get a namaste behind your back, which I'm not very good at, um, feel free to do that and stretch. Otherwise, just reach towards the ground. Keep that back nice and flat. Okay, step up to forward bend. Slowly moving back. I don't know if you can tell <laughs> from where I saw the centipede. <laughs> nice forward bend, flat back. You can shake out the legs if you need to, just very gently. I like to focus on each part. I like to focus on releasing my calves. So I tell myself, relax the calves. Then I think about my hamstrings and tell it to relax and I think about my glutes and relax the back sway a little okay big inhale up exhale down inhale up again exhale down so that's it for increasing flexibility in the legs you can go ahead and continue to cycle through that if you want and do the right and the left and the right and the left a few more times it, it will really help you increase your flexibility if you do this regularly and um, I think I'm gonna do a workout so I'm gonna separate into the next video uh, just check out the next video if um, if you want to do a little workout with me and we'll see you guys next time thanks